No way. Oh my god. Ready? 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 Ready for this? Okay. This this is crazy, bro. I'm taking like a whole different way that I have not taken before. Like I've not taken. Yo, this is some random Nautica shit right here. Ready? Hold on. This is some random Nautica shit right here. And then I see a fucking this manifestation process has not been easy. So much growth and success has been happening during this pain and struggle of going through the ring of fire. Freaking ring of fire, remember into the flames, my owl? <laughs> it's been fucking like going through the ringer, honestly. So it's not a comfortable thing to do at all. Yeah, just being super raw right now, like I don't wanna bullshit. Like just I just I just wanna be real and Peace, oh please, keep your mind at ease. It's obvious, I, I haven't made a video in a while, but I just figured I'm going to get my car inspection done, so I might as well shoot a quick video. I've been, I've been getting a little put off by the word manifesting lately. Honestly, like, just, just to be completely blunt. Um, because I just feel like a lot of people i don't know man like i feel like people make it seem so much easier than it really is depending on how big you want your goals to be right um and that's that's the thing that has been a little bit off-putting for me and i feel like i get it completely obviously obviously I'm the one who made all the manifesting videos myself. <laughs> but I don't know, just like I feel like yeah, I'm going to I'm pro I'm going I still believe in it. I still believe in it. But yeah, you'll definitely need to get your mindset in order. You'll need to get your focus in order. I think that's where the that's where law of attraction r is really important and crucial is just getting that focus right so that way every day it's like that just that laser precision focus on the thing that's getting manifested and because especially if it's a huge goal right i think that you shouldn't rely so much on all these techniques like honestly like that's kind of how i feel in this moment where it's just like you just gotta put in the work. Like you just need to, you just need to put in the work of what you're trying to achieve, and not necessarily rely on you know maybe like breathing techniques, or or just spending hours every day like visualizing or you know doing all these things for for long periods of time. A A A. There's my there's my sign right there. So I think like, um, you know, this is, this is in alignment, right? I think it's in alignment to put in like, like I actually think like, yeah, of course you should still have that, that grand, that grand vision for yourself, achieving your, your goals and still even feel like the gratitude, but don't overemphasize all these techniques and yeah, just don't overemphasize all these techniques when really what's necessary is for you to actually do the certain things. Like if it's a big, like, for example, I'm trying to build an empire. No, I'm not trying. I'm building an empire out here and it's not going to happen if I'm, in my opinion, it's not going to happen if I just overemphasize these techniques over doing the actual thing, right? Putting putting in the inputs every single day to actually achieve the thing, but doing the the needle moving tasks that I know are gonna help me achieve my goals, right? Because to be frank, I have not been meditating as much. I have not been visualizing as much. I have not been doing as many affirmations, honestly. But what I have been doing more of is just putting in the work every single day. And I feel like 
if you do have this grand vision for yourself, then make sure that you're putting in enough enough work. Like actually measure what are your inputs every single day. Are you are you driving towards that goal consistently? Or are you focusing too much on on the tactics of manifest of the tactics of being within the realm of you know the quantum and i think it's totally good to to go into the realms of the quantum but right now i'm pulling into the get yeah, my car inspected so we'll continue this in a bit all right all right i'm back uh some pretty interesting stuff has actually happened um during this time <laughs> So actually during this time, uh, I was getting my car inspection done. Uh, it's just been like so interesting actually. Like we, we got a really solid case study that just happened yesterday. Um, one of our clients hit, they, I found out they closed a $10,000 deal within one month of us running their value funnel ads and they only spent 1.2k on the ad so that was that was a huge win because we've never done it for this landscaping niche so that was huge and like ever since yesterday my energy been so high <laughs> uh it's been super high and i've been just so pumped and just feeling just just great just feeling uh highly energized and today uh also just just feeling really pumped highly highly energized <clears throat> um yeah i posted i posted my win in uh the the program i'm in the high ticket program i'm in and uh, i got a lot of got a lot of uh, responses on this on this this big win so yeah i just been feeling really high energy today and just feeling really in alignment uh, as I said earlier, I saw that 777, I saw that 888, um, right? And so I'm at the, I'm at the, at the, the mechanics, uh, and, you know, I usually just kind of want to go straight to, like, my headphones and, um, <clears throat> just, just, like, do my thing on my phone instead of, like, really talking to the mechanic so much. I sometimes yeah I do talk to him but like I felt like I don't know today I was just like you know I feel like I should just talk to the guy and um just because it's not all about me you know it's like maybe he, he maybe it'll make his day I don't know maybe it'll make maybe it'll make his make him happy to uh, like have a nice conversation with someone um <clears throat> about something that he likes so you know we talked about cars for some time uh for quite a while and uh yeah so that was my mindset doing that because <laughs> it's not it's not all about me it's about spreading love to the world <laughs> um yeah so i i don't know that felt good to to just do small act you know like act of kindness like that and as we're like talking for a little bit uh, all of a sudden there's this there's this huge earthquake that happens like everything's just rumbling all around like the cars are moving shaking like crazy we're all like what <laughs> and um yeah we really there's a train nearby uh like a train like a railroad and we were like is that like the train but no we found out you know those actually a earthquake because i messaged some people and they said yeah they felt it too and then a train went by afterwards and it not nothing was shaking it was you could barely even hear the train so pretty cool um like that was a crazy earthquake and then um yeah i haven't experienced something like that i don't not that i remember like such a big earthquake honestly and so that was that was pretty cool experience <laughs> And then, yeah, so I leave after that. I leave after that and um, 
I gotta get something, I gotta get something notarized. So I go to the UPS and, um, well, first I went to the wrong place. I was trying to go to the UPS and went to a drop, drop station, whatever, act like point, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. So I, I went there and then I went to the wrong, so I went to the wrong place. Then I went to the actual UPS. I got out of the car, car right next to me, license plate, one, 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 one. Okay, okay. Um, so I was like, damn, we really are in alignment. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, I go to the UPS. They're like, we don't do, we don't notarize things. You got to go to uh, one of those auto tag places. So, whatever. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, just, just been feeling really good. Just fit feeling <laughs> highly energized like nice really nice case study that we get to leverage um been getting really great feedback from my team that they just love working at boozy and i've been getting some nice feedback that uh, people my team have been really enjoying my leadership um so like i i don't i don't, don't want to like i'm not trying to like uh big up myself or whatever but uh, yeah, I had I had no intentions of even talking about this stuff. Really, it was just mainly to talk about how I've been feeling about manifesting. But yeah, no, it's it's wild because the law of attraction is clearly like I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. Clearly, you know, I I truly believe in synchronicities, law of attraction, manifestation, but. It, I don't know, like lately it's been like, I guess rubbing me the wrong way a bit because I just, because for me to, to like, you know, grow my company, get great results for my customers, get new clients and have uh, new business systems, which, which I've been, really really happy and excited about too it's like it hasn't been so much because of tactics of um, meditation tactics necessarily <clears throat> and um, like visualization tactics necessarily so um, it's been it's been mainly just like day by day like um, day by day just knowing like you know these are the things oh then there's something else crazy happened no way oh my god ready 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 for this okay this this is crazy bro okay it's gonna sound probably maybe a little lame but no no listen hear me out so i was talking to the mechanic so this is why i wanted to bring it up i forgot so i was talking to the mechanic for for quite some time right and then um, we were just talking about like electric cars, hybrid cars, and um, I don't know. I, I was like, I was wondering like what that car was that makes models somewhat similar to like like inspired by a DeLorean, right? Okay. So I, and I couldn't remember what was that, what was that model, right, of that car for the DeLorean. Um, so I was like looking it up on my phone, just could not find it. Right. Um, and he's, yeah, he, he did say, we talked about the DeLorean a little bit. He said he had some DeLoreans like, um, that he worked on, which is pretty sick. I, I think the DeLorean is, you know, I, I told him, you know, what's that car from, uh, that car from back to the future, you know, um, I saw the similar model It's just one, just, you know, just wanted to talk to him about like that that car just to see if he knew what uh, I was talking about some other model makes him similar, similar car to DeLorean or whatever I'm just rambling like crazy right now but hear me out okay <laughs> um yeah so we talked about that a little bit the DeLorean and then so I'm driving um and I'm taking like a whole different way that I have not taken before. Like, I've not taken... Yo, this is some rando Nautica shit right here. Ready? Hold on. This is some rando Nautica shit right here. Uh, so I'm taking a route I have never taken before. There was a road closure, so I, I literally could not take the road that I always take, okay? I literally couldn't take the road I always take to get home, like, 
So uh, I had to go some back roads, uh, and then and then I see a fucking someone driving a fucking DeLorean pulling out of a neighborhood, what, like the old school one from Back to the Future. What the actual fuck? Like, what the actual fuck? I could not believe it. I could not believe it. What? Like, I have not seen nobody driving a freaking DeLorean, bro. Like, I have not seen nobody driving a fucking DeLorean, bro. Like, just crazy. Just fucking crazy, man. I was just talking to Kyle. Kyle Ben just messaged me about something about time travel yesterday we were we were talking about a bunch of shit but he, he was he messaged me about time traveling and then today we're talking about i'm talking to the mechanic about deloreans although it was brief kind of brief but then i have to take this completely different route because there's a road closure i'm seeing all the the synchronicities the signs and I see a fucking DeLorean, bruh. What in the world, man? What in the world? <laughs> oh my God, it's crazy, it's crazy. I just, I guess right now, yeah, things are just feeling just super in alignment, but that is not to say, but the wild thing actually, let me, let me tell you this, the wild thing is that like to be to be completely honest i've been having some really down times too so it's wild how things go up and down up and down but i've been having some really like i guess down times cuz um how do i have to say this so I, I've been focusing so much these, um, the be like in Q1 of this year on just really focusing on getting the systems down, our SOPs, um, like standard operating procedures, if you don't, if you don't know what I mean, um, like getting all of that built out, like standardized, so that everyone's on the same page, the whole company's on the same page, like just really focusing on like ramping up company culture. So that way, you know, we have this really, really solid, solid, solid foundation. Like I, I, so I was turning down, like, I, like uh, sales calls that I would go on, I would just pitch them like hot, really super high, like high ticket. Cause it's like, I don't really want to work with people right now for like not that much. Because I'm, I'm, I'm just not focused on, I'm just not trying to do that right now. I'm just trying to build a really, really incredible company. Just really trying to build a really incredible company. My face looks so red right now because it's fucking hot in here. I got no air on and the window is closed. So my face is red. But uh, yeah, I've been just trying to build out, or like I just want to build the biggest like empire of love, like built off of love, <laughs> built off love, and just just great company culture. Like I want, I want people, like I just want people to be freaking in love with working at Poosby. And I've been getting great feedback that they are, and so that's been great. Like people are saying that our employees have been saying that they're having so much fun and they love it. So I'm so so happy about that but the the hard the struggle the struggle that i've been going through is like first of all me and my wife we gotta move right and i know that means i have to get a like a, i gotta stack stack some clients right i gotta stack clients but at the same time i didn't want to stack a lot of clients all at once because i just wanted to have the best systems in place the best team in place. Like I had to fire some people. Like that was really that was not that was not a comfortable thing to do at all. 
um, because I was just trying to, I'm working on increasing the stand. I want to have the highest standards possible for my company. Uh, and I'm not tolerating, not tolerating, uh, you know, bad stuff. Uh, so I hired some new people, some really amazing people. And I'm really, really happy about that. But it was actually been a, been a period where it's like, fuck, we gotta move. We gotta move. And I know I have to stack clients, but I also want to really prioritize building out this really rock solid foundation, like freaking titanium. Like I want, I want it to be titanium, right? So... Yeah, I mean, certain things in our client acquisition weren't actually working before too, earlier on. And then finally, some things have finally, things have been clicking. Um, but then again, as I, as these, this new client acquisition funnel, uh, we've been running for like the last month. We've gotten a lot of lead flow, a lot of sales calls. So this process is really working well. Um, but yeah, I'm just like pitching them high ticket because at, at the same time, like, I want to have high standards for everything. I want to have a great team. I want to have great clients. I don't want to have no, no low quality clients. Like, I don't want that because it's also gonna hurt the company too, right? So, yeah, just just raising the quality of fucking everything, everything. Um, but yeah, so it's been, it's been, it's been fucking like going through the ringer, honestly. So, you know, I highlighted some great, like I've highlighted some highs of today and how I've been feeling yesterday. This great case study and some of the things that today, whatever, just feeling highly energized and freaking filming a vlog right now, which is actually, I have not done in so fucking long. And uh, it makes me feel really good. It feels in alignment to to be shooting content because that's what I've been fucking doing for years, right? Okay? Okay, okay! <laughs> that's what I've been doing for years. It's how I grew my following and I love filming content. But uh, I've been mainly, like, for a while now, focusing on this business and really getting titanium steel foundations in place. So I'm just trying to be really, really raw with you right now, just to tell you where my head has been at. And um, yeah, where my head has been at, where I've been at mentally, like it's been like going through the ringer, honestly. Yeah, great things are happening, but it's like, I'm not where I want to be. I'm not where I want to be. I'm still quantum leaping, right? I'm still on, I'm still quantum leaping to my ultimate reality. And in order to do that, fuck man, it takes some, uh, it takes pain, it takes pain. Okay. So that's why I, I think like, that's also a big part of, I think that is, now that I'm talking about this, that's a part of the manifestation thing like maybe that's why it was kind of rubbing me the wrong way it's just like we got to talk about the pain that comes with manifesting our big goals and size okay if you want to manifest something small sure the visualization thing i'm sure that, yeah that would probably really help if it's like something really small yeah that then for sure like for sure but if it's if but if it's like a big fucking empire that you're building that's the kind of life lifestyle that you're building and it's fucking huge then most of the time i think in my opinion needs to be on the inputs increasing leverage and yeah yeah putting in that fucking hard work okay um and so and with that comes a lot a lot of pain a lot of struggle and um, I think, um, yeah, maybe that's not highlighted as much in the the manifestation uh, world. I mean, yes, yeah, for sure, shadow work 
is definitely, I guess, a part of it, but not, it's different. It's kind of different. Like, I'm not necessarily, it's not necessarily shadow work that I'm going through. Um, so I wouldn't label it that. And also another thing that has been super in alignment is, um, so I, I did start also like reaching out to, to, to a lot of local business companies and that's been good. But, uh, the, the biggest thing I feel is in most alignment is the content offer and, uh, surge from the program I'm in on the latest Q and A was like, dude, you gotta run this content offer up. Essentially, it's like, don't stop what you're doing at the local business because clearly it's working. Um, I'm get, getting great results with it, but like what's in alignment for you is definitely the content. So, and I, I to be honest, I strayed a little bit from it. I strayed a little bit from it. And he said that to me on Friday. Right now is the next, uh, he said that to me on Monday. Now it's Friday. So, the, yeah. So that was really in alignment and I've been feeling really good, like energized about that, about that, like pushing that offer <clears throat> and reigniting that flame for my company. And so, um, yeah, just being super raw right now. Like, I don't want to bullshit. Like, just, I just, I just want to be real and <sighs> yeah. So I've been like going through the freaking going through the ringer and um it has not been easy this manifestation process has not been easy like i will not stop until my company as a uh, i'm not gonna stop if once it's at 100k per month no i'm gonna keep going i want to keep running it up i want to i want my full potential to be utilized like i want my full potential i want my full potential to to shine I really want it to shine and I want it I want it want it to be fulfilled. And so yeah, yeah, so that th I just been rambling, but this this feels good. I haven't not done it in a long time. Jeez, my I feel like I'm on fire right now, honestly. I feel like I'm on fire right now. I'm so hot wearing all these layers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's why my face is so red right now. I'm gonna open up a window. But yeah, ooh, ooh, we got a we got a call right now in the program, and I'm missing it. So I gotta I gotta get in. I gotta head out, and I gotta hop on this call. But but yeah, you please 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 please, twenty two twenty two. That's the how long we're at right now. I'm me recording this. I'll probably chop it up, so it won't be exactly that for you. But please strive, 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 strive. To fulfill, to fulfill your full potential, please, please strive for it. In my opinion, it's it's the best way to live. It's the best way to live is to strive for your full potential <clears throat> and strive for living a life that's in alignment. Just just living a life that's in that's in pure alignment. And so here here's the thing. It's like yeah, this is what I was thinking earlier, which is like. Yeah, like, it's like, uh, yeah, I've been, I, so here's like a compass, right? And here's the North Star, right? At the top. So, to be honest, I probably was not going straight up at the, <clears throat> like, straight north. I was not going straight north. Um, I might not be going completely straight north because that's just, just the nature of where I'm at right now. So, I'll probably, I feel like it was like, I've been kind of like this, kind of like this, instead of like this, on my on my compass of alignment. And, um, oh, that'd be pretty cool to do something with that. Compass of alignment. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> so yeah, like, yeah, striving for that, that north, that north, I think. And yeah, it's been going through, going through the ringer and you know kind of still going still going you know if, if if you're going like this you're still going north but it's not completely like this right so i've been going kind of like sideways slash north and yeah it's definitely been uh like going through the ringer <laughs> but 
so much growth and success has been happening during this pain and struggle of going through the ring of fire freaking ring of fire remember into the flames my <laughs> going through going through the flames we're going through the flames and it's necessary i think if you have big huge goals it's really necessary to go through those flames if you really want to achieve your goals and manifest and so yeah i guess <clears throat> that's why i haven't been as i guess like gung-ho on on manifesting law of attraction because it's like i guess like a, because of the perception of a lot of other people i guess not not highlighting how to manifest you have to go through those flames you have to go th into you have to go into the flames got to go through the flames no way around it if it's something small that you're trying to manifest okay you, there, there might not be flame there might not be flames it might be minimal very minimal flames but if you're if you're trying to freaking achieve something huge, then you gotta go Lord of the Ring style. You gotta go Lord of the Ring style. You gotta go through the battlefield, through the fucking fire. You gotta fight off these orcs and shit. <laughs> and then and and then you will you will rise to to your compass north of alignment. <laughs> so completely freestyling this video, but. I hope this brought some value to you. I really do. I really do hope this brought some value to you. Um, yeah, and that's that's about it, honestly. That's about it. That's it for now. No call to action. Peace out, please. Keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. My only call to action for you is, is, is to do an audit on yourself and ask yourself, are you, are you, how, how north are you going on your compass? How far north are you going on your compass of life? And um, take that seriously and think about how you can, how you can go even, you can go more north. All right. So like, if you're going south, see, try to think how you can get that compass to go back north. All right. So that's it. Peace. So please keep your mind at ease. It's obvious. Okay.